Hi guys, I know I haven't been online in quite a while. I am in Philadelphia today out front of City Hall and I am here because I was always so extremely proud to say and tell anybody that my dad worked here. This video is important to me and I would encourage you to watch it all the way through because I have a lot to share. I never thought I would have to make this video ever, especially this soon, but my father passed away recently and he had a massive heart attack. I constantly, every single day, I can't help but replay that moment in my mind when I got the phone call hearing about my father's passing. I was a mess when I found out. I feel like I'm doing okay. I feel bad that I'm doing okay. I feel like I want to be more sad, but the reason that I feel okay is because I know that I had an amazing relationship with my dad, and you guys know how important he was to me. You guys probably also know that I lost my mom at a young age. It feels very, very bad to not have parents anymore. It feels really shitty. I feel like my family size has decreased tremendously, even though I have a lot of family, but I just feel like, I don't know, it just feels like nobody's left. I want you guys to realize how important people are to you and express that. I feel so good that I was able to do that. I don't have any regrets. I feel very fortunate for the time that I did have with my dad in life. Don't be afraid to tell people that you love them. I know that the word love and the feeling is so strong and it's hard to say that, but if you feel that, try your hardest not to feel embarrassed to say it because I think that it's such a powerful thing to let someone know that you care about them that much. It can build a much stronger bond between you and somebody. So I would just encourage that. And I'm, I'm so thankful that I always told my dad I loved him, that I, he told me that he loved me. I'm so thankful that I let him know how much I appreciate him. I would tell him that often. I would like go through a list of things. I'm very grateful that I learned that early in life. I really think like now having this loss, not having my mom is what made me realize how to be so grateful towards others. I wanna share that with you because having a second loss as big as this, like losing my dad, having no parents, I, it's a reminder to me of like how important it is to tell people how you feel. And I wanna say that to you because I want you to make sure that you're telling people how you feel. Through my life, I've seen so many times people being disrespectful to their parents. And I would like stand back at a distance and just think like, like you don't even know, you, you don't even get it how lucky you are to have your parents. But I guess what I'm trying to say is learn to appreciate what you have and if you don't have the best relationship, don't always be stubborn. Sometimes you have to be the better person in a situation to make a relationship better. Even if you don't want to, put your pride aside and be strong in that situation. And to be honest with you, it, it still doesn't feel real to me. Like, I know he's gone. I saw him. I, it's like, real but it doesn't feel real like like i can't believe that he's gone also i feel like the holidays are going to be real really shitty i never really was able to fully enjoy holidays just because my mom wasn't there now i feel like it's going to be worse something that i wish i had that i would encourage people parents to do if you could write some kind of messages or letters or anything for your kids to have in the future i think that they would probably love that because I lost my mom when I was 16. I don't think I've ever told you guys this, but um, my mom passed away on my birthday and I never really wanted to talk about that because like I didn't want it to be like this sad story, but that's the reality. My mom passed away on my birthday and I hated my birthday for years and years and years. As I got older, I realized it was more like she held on to make it for my birthday. Literally, like she just made it and then she passed basically. It's a connection now that I'll always have to her is like that connection of my birthday. She began to write me a couple messages for me because she knew she was not going to be in my life as I grew up. So I only have maybe two or three like messages about growing up and like advice that she would have given me or wanted me to know 
and have. I feel so happy that I have that, but at the same time, because I was only 16 when I lost her, I had always felt like there were things I wish I could have asked my mom that I never was able to ask her. I never had answers to it. And even with my dad, I wish that, that he wrote something or had something, like even if it was about himself and his childhood or to him telling me things, stories, and it was written out and I could always look back and remember it. I just would, I feel like that's something that I would want and I think a lot of people would want that. So I'm only sharing that because if you're a parent, it might be something nice to do for your kids at any age that they are. I know that everybody processes a loss differently and there are always similarities, but one of the things that I have found to be very hard is the realization that life goes on. You feel like when something really traumatic happens to you, the world should just stop and it doesn't. How can I continue on with life, just do my everyday things like nothing happened? It's hard to do that. I was feeling guilty for like laughing or smiling. I know that you don't have to feel guilty for that stuff. Like my dad wouldn't want me to be sulking forever. My dad taught me how to be outspoken, generous. He was so selfless and helpful with people. I'm really thankful for all of the inspiration that he has been in my life. I hope that you'll watch this montage that I have. I'm, I'm so glad and I want to thank you guys too. Like, Thank you for allowing me to create for you and share my life with you for all these years because if it wasn't for you guys, like, like I wouldn't even have these memories because I might not have filmed them. As I was going through this footage, I'm like, I'm so thankful that I at least have that. So I love you guys. And I, I really would like if you want to watch this to the end, I love you. I really like it. That's City Hall. I always show you guys, but my dad used to work right there. The road trip is beginning. I'm with my dad. We are on our way to visit my brother. Yay, yeah, yay, yeah, we're on our way. <laughs> Jason! Look at this yummy dinner my brother made for us. My dad taught me. It's my job to teach you yum yum Belgian waffles. This is the old thing that we used to use when I was a kid. Start in the center. Stay in the center. I learned from you. Good more. Good more. <laughs> Here we go. It's so good. <laughs> I love you on bird Thank you, Dad. We all think you're the man. I am the man. <laughs> He's done so much for me my entire life and I really appreciate everything he's done. I feel like my dad is always there with the drop of a pin in a second. If I need my dad for anything, he's always there for me. It's so nice to have that. My dad's here. Hi, Dad. Hi. My dad's gonna help me. <laughs> Be ready to hug the peeps. <laughs> well, that's a goofy gadget. She's pranking me, and I'm supposed to be here to work. Don't ever do any movie with Gina or Jennifer. She will get you very upset. I'm gonna beat the crap out of you. <laughs> we met Bambino for the first time ever. What do you think of him? He's great. I like him. He's beautiful, <laughs> especially the spot. Jeannie used to come running to me all the time, the middle of the night sometimes, wake me up <laughs> screaming, and I wouldn't know what's wrong. Come in my room, come in my room. And it was all about killing a bug. <laughs> she is petrified of bugs. It was always like a little tiny spider, and I was like, Dad! My dad wants to bet on some horses. Yep. Oh. Oh. Come on, Ted, come on, Ted. Come on, Ted. Ah! Terrific Father's Day. She made a lot of good choices. The restaurant and the show are excellent. All oh, one test. Yeah, right. I'm sorry, Dad. What are you going to do next? <laughs> You're not going to record. Come on, you. please. All right, say your Spanish numbers. Cinco, seis. Ocho, <laughs> Nueve. Yeah. It wasn't even 10 numbers. <laughs> I'm with my dad, and he's showing me something that's so interesting. Well, if you look at the old houses here. This is where my mom used to live. <laughs> oh no, this one's bulging. You hit this, you hit this, you got a nick down here, 
and the rim was scratched. Thank you, Daddy. You're the best. My dad is so nice. Thankful for my dad. He's the best ever. He always takes care of me. My dad, car. Because I'm so happy my dad is sleeping over. <laughs> dad is here today to help me. So if I get, a little, if I get the first me. coat of spackle on everything today, then I can get a second coat to mark. These are coming down. This stuff, we can move or pack ourselves. <laughs> Your audience. Careful, Dad. Karate. <laughs> Happy birthday. I was trying to surprise you. <laughs> I saw somebody this morning. <laughs> I'm behind a bush. We're here. <laughs> I talked to the lady. I did. No, liar. I didn't call her. Yeah. Is that allowed in the water? My dad and I are playing a prank on my brother. <laughs> he went in the store and left two bikes outside. My dad just like grabbed the bike. We're gonna see his reaction when he realizes that it looks like one of them was stolen. We're trying to hide. You're an idiot. <laughs> oh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> that was so funny. I saw you hiding. What did you do? <laughs> did you run and hide? Oh, Jason, we pranked you. <laughs> we got him good. Beach day with the family. Deep sir, what's up? I'm forced to drink. <laughs> That's good too. <laughs> Egg corn shell, and apparently you can make a whistle. You whistle. have to put your thumbs like that. <laughs> I'm not stressed now. I can smile. We made it. That was fun. I love my daddy. Got a pizza stick with whiz, and wit means onions. <laughs> 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 Did you know you were Team PvP has raised over $20,000. Oh, we're fishing. Oh my god, he caught a shark. That's so crazy. Shark! Whoa! He's swimming. Look at him. <laughs> it's a drink marker. The mustache. Right. Jason gets this one. Oh, I get it. <laughs> see now you see the mustache. Yes, you <laughs> That's good. The fudge dance. <laughs> <laughs> so good. I love fudge. They cook this big dinner. It's like a candlelit dinner with crabs and shrimp. It started without us. Alright, Dad. You gotta make me win. Head mine. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I miss living at home, Daddy. Having home cooked meal. <laughs> They're trying to make fun of me because I got cookies. <laughs> I'm on the boardwalk with my dad. We're gonna go for a job. I brought all these 20s. We're handing them out. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Fake. She's <laughs> doing on the ground. Once she like had it in her hand, she really. Hold on, hold on. I was going to say that. I got it off. All right, what's up? Yes, Dad, it worked. I love you, Dad. Best of Thanks a lot. It was real nice of you to do that. I love you, Dad. Let's all say goodbye together. My dad a hug. <laughs> Bye, Daddy. I love you. I'm gonna miss you. <laughs> this is the secret slide.